When I think about Churches Left to Build and, and the God Size Project, I really think about the ripple effect that it has across our community and our church. And I think about three different groups. One is the members that get out there and do the work. And uh, on the surface, it looks like just going out and doing a day's worth of work and it ending. But uh, I think it's much more than that. It's not only the men and the women that come out and the, what they pay to come out and do it in terms of labor and services and the cost of their time, but it's the example they set for their family. And it's the example they set for their neighbors and their fellow church members and their small team member friends. Uh, it just has such a ripple effect. And by members going out and working on this project, the same time happens for other people come and join as a result of those people doing it. So it has a substantial ripple effect for all of our members to go out and work. It influences quite a few people. Another aspect is the clients that we work with and the homeowners. Uh, certainly it helps them. It helps them in a grand way. But behind them, when we fix their house or we build a ramp or we uh, just improve their house where they can have it cold or they have it warm when they choose, it's not only them that benefit, but it's also the family members that are worried about how they're living. And uh, we've talked about Bubba a little bit and the God Size Project this year. This is a gentleman that was living in his car for about four years. And his sister was worried to death what was happening to him. And now she's been a very big supporter of his behind the scene. And uh, her church in Athens, Texas, along with all those church members, were highly impacted by what was happening, by this church happening, helping Bubba. So it's far reaching. That entire church was praying for Bubba and praying for Ginger. And it made such a difference in their lives. And that happens time and time again with people that can't even believe we're doing this for free. And that men and women would come out there and be happy to do this kind of work. And then another way that I really see a strong ripple effect are the people that help us throughout the community. And that might be the, the engineer from the city that looks at the or reviews some of the work that we do. Or it may be the manager for the, ministry, the uh, community development group that is involved with this all the time and understanding what the needs are in the community and getting to see what we get to do that sometimes they have restrictions on that. So, and then it may even be the mayor that understands what we're doing and says, this is a church that is very, very active in my community. And I'm very, very pleased with that. And all this has a ripple effect through the city council and through uh, the contractors that help us and owners of businesses that are able to donate, whether it be sheetrock or electrical or plumbing or whatever services we need. Um, and then we're able to thank them. And it's just the, the feeling that we get from working with those people. They have a routine job to do, but when they come on our projects, they are thrilled to help us because they know what's happening. And it's a true meaning to what's going on with the Christ being involved with what you do. And it's a shining example in all these cases of when you involve Christ and you work for Christ, that everybody's happy about doing it and everybody benefits and it's such a win-win. The house was in disrepair. The city of Bryan had actually evicted them from the house. So, and that need to be rebuilt. So whoever saw the pictures along the way in the process, I mean, it was, it was definitely God's hand in getting this thing fixed so that he could live with it. So it was down to the studs, the floor was torn up, had to have new plumbing, new foundation, new electrical, and then walls up, trim in, doors in, all of that. So it was just, you felt God's hand in this whole process to be able to take it from you know, a total wreck to a house that could be lived in, a house that Bubba could be proud of. One of the things that I love the most about Churches Left the Building is that there's an opportunity for everybody, right? So, so you don't need to be able to build a wheelchair ramp. You don't need to be able to do those things, right? If you can drive a car, you can deliver a meal. If you can just be here at the church, there are projects that everybody can work on. And so um, what I love about it is that um, it also creates community. It, it creates community in our church and it really empowers everybody to be able to live out the gospel. And, and you don't have to do it in a certain way because there are opportunities for everybody to engage in Churches Left the Building. So this will be our fourth Churches Left the Building in our third guide size project. It's really been a blessing to see all this happen over the years with the men, women, and kids that have been so devoted to making this grow. Year after year, we've got more projects, 
We've done bigger projects and we've had more and more people involved and we've had more and more contributions. And that's what we got to do again is everybody come together to support this so we can continue to go out into the field and do God's work.